Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and check this guy out. Ta-da! All right, in this video lesson, I wanna talk about the right hand. If you're a right-handed cigar box guitar player, the right hand. So the right hand, this is, <clears throat> there's so much to be said about the right hand that it often is ignored. Many times we just focus on the left hand, the fingerings over here. And where the frets are and what strings there are, and we ignore the right hand. But in this particular lesson, we are going to talk about the right hand. All right, so let's get started. So if you're going to play with a pick, uh, typically I hold the pick in between my thumb and my index finger like that so that the point of the pick kind of like looks like my fingernail sticking out a little bit. That's one way, that's typically how I use my pick. Just like that. Now you don't have to, you can hold your pick however you like, but however it's comfortable. You don't want to be too tight or you're like squeezing it to death and you don't want it to be so loose that you, you flop, it drops out of your hand. It's called static. Right, so you want that Goldilocks zone right in the middle where it's the perfect squeeze. If your hand gets tired, then you're doing something wrong. So your hand should never get tired. Now, here's a, here is a trick. See this part right here? This one here happens to be a battery, but this is typically called the bridge or the saddle. Yeah, you can call it whatever you like. It's where the strings come up. Now what I do is I rest this muscle part here of my right hand, right underneath my pinky, this part right here. I rest that directly on the string, just like that. And what that does is it creates like a mute, like if I take it off, it's rings open, but I'm like choking it down. Just a little bit. If you come up too far, the string's dead. If you come back here, right about maybe a quarter inch or maybe three sixteenths of an inch up here, that's that sweet spot. You have to play around with it to find the sweet spot. And that's how you get that muting sound. And then you can jump off and get the ring out or choke it. So that right there, I'm telling you friends, right there, that is a game changer. That's worth the price of admission right there. They call that palm muting. Now sometimes uh, you, you know, just mute the bass string, let the high strings mute or you mute all of them. Sometimes you just mute the high strings and get, get the bass string ringing it. So you can play around with that however you like. So that's palm muting. Next, I want to ditch the pick and talk about our fingers. Now, again, there, there is no set right way or wrong way, but this is kind of a rule of thumb that my thumb goes on the bass string, my index finger in the middle string, and my ring finger in the high string. You can also do three strings or three fingers here, index finger on the bass, middle finger, middle string, and ring finger. But I, use, I usually am using my thumb, typically for the bass string. Um, and what that does is it allows me to do like finger picking like this. and get aggressive and just hit it. I call that the flick. Okay, 
Okay, so our right hand is our timekeeper. I tell people all the time, anybody can play, especially a cigar box guitar tuned to a chord, because all you gotta do is count to four. One, two, three, four. And, and you strum on the numbers. One, two, three, four. And then, and then what? Then you start over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you notice my head, one, two, three, four. If I was to tap my foot, I'd be tapping one, two, three, four. My whole body, one and two and three and four. See how the ands are on the upstroke? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So I'm not using a pick. I'm using my fingers and I'm targeting my fingernails to hit the strings. And I have multiple, you know, attacks here. I got like all three fingers kind of, so it kind of gets kind of a brush. That's kind of a cool trick, huh? Oh, that, okay, that's called a percussion. So, so this is kind of one of my favorite strums where I'll go, da, da, da. so I go down, up, and then I just hit the strings. And you can hit them hard or just kind of hit it like a soft, whatever you want to do. And then after you hit it, you get another upstroke. So it's down, up, smack, up, down, up, smack, up, down, up, smack, up, down, up, smack, up. Down, up, smack, up, down, up, smack, up, down, up, smack. Those are just the basics of the right hand. There's many, 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 many more things that you can do with your right hand. We won't go into that here now, right? Um, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I just wanted to get you started on that so that you could be up and running in no time at all. All right, guys. Cheers. See you in the next video.